Hi YouTube, today we're going to discuss custom 1911s and what you get when you order a custom 1911. When you think about custom 1911s, four major brands come to mind. Wilson Combat, Nighthawk Customs, Les Bear, and Ed Brown. There are others out there, but those are the four major ones that everybody knows. What we have here in front of us is a Wilson Combat. This is the Wilson Combat Professional model. When I see professional model, I mean it's got a full size frame and a four inch barrel. Now, generally speaking, 1911s have always performed best when they're in their original form, a five inch barrel, a full size frame, what have you. But these companies, like Wilson Combat here, for example, they've figured out how to make these things work just as well using a 4-inch barrel or 4 and quarter inch barrel on the commander size or whatever. So I'm going to point out a few features that you get when you buy one of these custom guns. We're going to use this one as an example. Okay, this gun here, this is a stainless model. It has front strap checkering, 25 inch per line. It's rear checkering. The mainspring housing is a one piece magwell. So the magwell is one piece with the mainspring housing and it's perfectly blended. It looks like it's a piece of the frame. They do such a good job on this. There's no kind of burring or anything. It's just fantastic what they do to stuff like this. It has an extended beaver tail with a memory hump on it. The memory hump is for when you grab this, the grip safety is engaged automatically and it will go off. It has a match grade trigger in it. it has a commander hammer on it has checkering on the rear of the slide. The top of the slide is serrated for glare. It has U-notch battle sights that are also serrated. I don't know if it'll show up on camera or not. The front sight is fiber optic. It has carry cuts cut into the side of the slide. To the carry cuts has a lower ejection port and flared it has an ambi safety the safety works very positive it has extended thumb safety and an extended slide stop has extended mag release it has a countersunk slide stop in it so it doesn't protrude out any it has a fluted chamber on the barrel it has a flush cut, recessed, reverse crown barrel. There's no bushing on this gun. This is what they call a bull barrel. So when you open this gun up, it flares out on the end and the entire barrel is fluted on this thing. It has a full length guide rod. It has a flat wire recoil spring in it. For smooth operation. This gun works so smooth. It's like it's on ball bearings. It has an exceptional trigger. I don't think they make a bad 1911 trigger, but this is exceptional. The tolerances are so tight. If you look at the frame, the slide fit, there's absolutely no gap. There's no play in it whatsoever. Everything just fits together so tight. 
buttons. There's a lot of work goes into these and you do pay for it when you buy it. Now, is it worth it? If you were to order a gun like this and get every one of these options, not only is it expensive, it's going to take a long time to get. You, they have a few guns that you can buy that are in stock or you can buy them on the secondary market or so. But something like this, if you were to order it, it's just going to be over $5,000 with all the add-ons on it. And they charge you for everything. Everything that I just named is extra. And it's going to take nine months, maybe a year to get it. Is it worth it? If you like pride of ownership and stuff, yes, it's worth it. This gun shoots more accurate than I will ever be able to shoot. They give you a little test target that comes in it where they put it on a ransom wrist and they put them all through the same hole. Can I do that? No, I cannot. But I do like it. Now, you can buy a $400 Rock Island or maybe a eight or nine hundred dollar colt or something like that and you still have a gun gun you'll probably shoot just as well with it but when you want something that is absolutely perfect that nobody else will probably have at the range when you take it out this is what you want here like i said you're paying for skilled gunsmiths to assemble something and make it perfect in every way when you buy something from a company like this I mean not that you would ever have any problems but if you had any problems they want you to send that thing back immediately they don't want any problems associated with their name the customer service is impeccable with Wilson combat I can't speak for Les Bear or Ed Brown I've never had one I knew Nighthawk does really good but I like Wilson Combats. I like the way they look. I like the sterling silver medallions. I like the texturing of these Starburst grips. I love the way they do their magwells. If you look down in here, I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. The throat job they do, the polish work on the um, feed ramp just everything there's no tooling marks anywhere on here everything is just perfect in every way it's really up to the end user whether you want to spend the kind of money that these things cost but if you're looking for the best and you don't and you want something that's hands down above anything that you can buy off the shelf this is the route to go if you're buying this gun because you think you're going to outshoot your buddy that has his six or seven hundred dollar Springfield, depends on your skill set. More than likely, there's not going to be that much difference. There's videos out there of guns like this being compared to five or six hundred dollar 1911. There really isn't that much difference, and there's very skilled people shooting them. So it's really up to it's really up to you folks. But these are very, very, very well made and they're very expensive. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll answer it if I can.